the one thing that I hear that as, as time went on, that the violence and the shooters became younger and younger. You know, for example, you go back to the the story about Yummy Sandifer. You know about him? Yeah, I heard stories about him. Yummy Sandifer was 11 years old. He was a black disciple. I was locked up with his brother, his big brother. His big brother? I was in a joint with him. He was, he was a black disciple. And they sent him on a mission to go shoot one of their ops. In the process, he shot a little girl whose father was, was a leader in his own way. And his own people had to go execute him because they were afraid that he was going to cooperate. And that really set a whole chain of events. You know, his mugshot ended up on Time Magazine, you know, the biggest magazine in America. And suddenly, you know, Tupac started talking about it. You know, if you ever look at any of Tupac's old interviews, there's one in prison where there's a picture of Yummy Sander for behind him. And, and when you look at a situation like that, here, here's someone that, Grew up in the same overall area, you know what I mean? Affiliated with some of the same type of people, you know, you're affiliated with. And 11 years old, he was dead over a chain of events that you've probably seen similar situations around you. When you look at kids like that, that go out like that, you know, you're, you're 20, you're 20 something years old right now. This kid was half your age. He didn't get to live half of your life. And when you look at that and you look at your own kids growing up, how does that make you feel? I mean, you got to like, what was young me parents at? He was a troubled kid. He was, I think, in the foster system. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he didn't really get the, he didn't really get the parenting that he needed. I mean, then there's your answer right there. Like, my kids are kids. My kids are, they, they ain't. Growing up too fast, they are kids. They still do kids shit. They still do the kids shit. They still want to do. They only they ain't eager and thirsty to grow up. So I'm like, I ain't saying like I know they path like what a motherfucker going. Especially my son, like I ain't, but I know the path. Um, we me and my my baby mamas is putting them on. Is not the path for uh, my path. It's the opposite direction of the way I went. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like I'm gonna too much have to worry about feeling that feeling about your kid, especially that young out here. A motherfucker sending them off to do this and do that. Like, hell no. My kids ain't no none of that. They they kids. They gonna continue to be kids. They gonna my daughter ten, she a regular ten year old. She ain't no 10 that's acting like she 14. She a regular 10 year old, you know what I'm saying? She in fifth grade. She a regular 10 year old. She ain't thirsty to be in eighth grade right now. She taking this shit a day at a time. So I ain't really gotta worry about that. My son, my oldest son is the smartest third grader, the second smartest third grader in Illinois. Hmm. So it's like- The second, wait, hold on, hold on. My, this is a big deal. The second smartest third grader son, in the entire the state second, of Illinois. Smart, it's third so his test scores are just off the off the, entire, the charts. Yeah, good for him, man. So it's like, Congratulations. Appreciate it. We, we don't we don't celebrate moments like yeah, this enough. So I ain't, Congratulations, I ain't man. Gotta worry good, about, good, good job as a father. Yeah, man. appreciate it. I ain't got to worry about too much of him. He don't want. I'd be like, man, say your bitch ass. He'd be like, daddy, I don't want to say that. So I know that ain't what he on. You know what I'm saying? He ain't on that. Yeah. He don't want. He don't want to say your bitch ass to my homies. He ain't on that. He want to go build shit, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like as a parent, I ain't got to, I don't feel like I'm going to have to worry about that. I got awesome baby mamas that help me do a good job too, that, that do also do a good job with them, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't got to, we, we ain't got to worry about that. Like they, We know the path they're taking, it's the opposite of mass.